everyone, it's Anna Komenda here, Marketing Manager at Mintai Papers and in this video I will show you our new Traveler collection that was released in January 2024 and this collection was inspired by the Orient Express travels like a golden age of uh, travels in a very lux luxurious style um, before all the, all the modern <laughs> Uh, trains and buses and uh, planes uh, came out and this collection has this vintage uh, vibe it has this vintage color palette and i will start with papers we have six double-sided papers in this collection like with all of the others uh, collections and you can purchase them separately uh, or you can purchase the set and when you purchase the set you will get 12 papers plus this bonus uh, sheet with elements on the back and uh, each paper comes twice so we'll get one of each design because we have 12 design on six papers and this is the cover so it showcases all the uh, elements you can get in the all the patterns you have in the collection plus like a peak of the elements on the back and those are those elements you can fussy cut them and use them like you use your die cuts if you wish to have more of those we release also the extra uh, paper this is the paper number nine uh, which means it has exactly the same set of die cuts but on the back it has um, like a simple pattern so you can use it as a background or you can use this paper for fussy cutting elements so see this side comparing to this side so you will get those uh, on the paper number nine too if you need more of course we have uh, die cuts too if you don't like fussy cutting so let's start with the uh, first paper and this one is like a train station scene like a vintage beautiful train stations that we used to have and it features the train it features some luggage flowers uh one a vintage traveler uh, globe um, maps so we have two bigger clusters of composition on top of the um, train station scene and the back of this paper has this kind of a collage of uh, ancient war map uh, some stamps and it all has this texture like a worn um, uh, worn wood with chipping flakes so this is the B side of paper number one. Paper number two, we have a big hot air balloon um, with some uh, smaller uh, planes, like a vintage style of planes too. Some flowers and we have some sort of a travel composition like stamps a travel journal um, camera here so this is the uh, balloon and the back side of this is like this simple pattern again we have this very worn chipped out sort of paint texture but this time we do not have any elements it's like a ready to go background to add more elements here and we have paper number three and again it's a train this time it's a steam locomotive something i really really love um standing on the outside it's not in the train station it's the outside on the tracks and we have again two clusters one in this corner and one in this corner we have all the elements that relate to travels plus some beautiful flowers and the back of this paper uh, is again like a vintage world map with some collages of elements but this time it has slightly different colors a little less of warm uh, rusty colors and uh, paper number four is a pattern with all those vintage stamps and um, post stamps so when you travel you got those stamps on your documents uh, we no longer have those sadly in most of the cases uh, but they were like a great um, souvenir memorabilia from your travels 
and the of course you can fussy cut all of those so you can you can have a lot of small elements and the b side is this navy pattern it's um it's sort of the piece of a map but not in the sense of like a real uh, land map it's more like a sea map with the depths and with the compass uh here so it's like a pattern simple pattern good for the backgrounds mm. and paper number five as all of the mint paper collections my most of them not all of them because we have two masculine collections that doesn't have flowers but most of them does uh no some do have flowers so we have a flower pattern that you can use in pieces and they will still look great i'm looking if you can fussy cut the flowers but it's more like you can fussy cut the clusters of the flowers if you like fussy cutting single flowers may be hard for fussy cutting because they overlap maybe like this flower but you will still lose a piece of the uh petals so yeah depends on what you like and the b-side is again this rusty texture this time in the navy and uh, rust colors and the last paper is paper number six we have six uh, we have 12 uh, three by four uh, uh, rectangles here and they have like a, a scene, little scenes little clusters you can cut them out and use them as the dividers uh, in your albums but you can also fussy cut elements out of it and use it as an extra source of uh, elements sometimes they are great because they have a bigger size if you need one mm, this is what i like to do with them uh, and of course i also like using them for a pa pattern samples when i only need a small pattern here i use uh, this paper so i cut it out use it for die cutting um so this is really good source of um of uh, little pieces of pattern uh, when you don't want to cut into a bigger paper so those are uh bigger papers we have paper pads two of them and this is six by six paper pad which is basically the same papers just uh, downsized and uh, front of and back covers have those elements for fussy cutting they are exactly the same on both sides we have 24 papers inside and each pattern is repeated four times so you get paper number one paper number two and those are great for mini albums but also for cards if you like making those because you have the same patterns but in a smaller version so this is it and we get three of those uh, here we also have six uh, a six by eight add-on paper pack which is usually my favorite project <laughs> product in each collection because it's sort of standalone product you can purchase this uh, pad and you can make layouts cards album with it without even looking for other elements uh, in the collection uh, so it's a great if you scrapbook on the go and you have 24 double-sided sheets inside but um, there are eight different designs so each set is repeated three times plus front and back cover has some uh, patterns that are only used once so you can get this and this used once and i will show you all the paper papers inside so this is paper number one and they are different in 12 by 12 versions sometimes they are different because they have different color or sometimes there are totally different patterns inside this paper you can use it like it is or you can cut out those little vintage I don't know what it is posters or tickets another navy pattern this one is really great for an album page uh, with a, a compass here uh, we have a cluster of tickets we have another navy pattern this is again paper with those uh, travel stamps we have a vintage world map 
and this is the inside of the train so you can build, build a whole scene using it um, and we have this vintage uh, hot air balloon but hot air balloon but without all the embellishments so you can use it like it, it cut it out and build your own composition with it and the back has similar floral pattern but it has like compasses added and each add-on book has two pages with elements for fussy cutting and which is good to know is that they are different in first than first this sheet and they are different than elements you can find here well maybe not all of them but most of them are different so this uh, uh, <coughs> page showcases suitcases even smaller uh, hot air balloon let me check if it's also added here no it's not here so if you want a smaller balloon you will have to take it from here and the b side has some uh, vintage tickets and this is another paper with um, elements for fussy cutting and we have vintage tickets here which is amazing i really love those they are perfect for building layers and the b-side is just a word map so we have all of this repeated three times in this paper part uh, we have uh, 16 paper die cuts in this collection <coughs> So I'm speaking <laughs> to myself for a while, recording the videos, and my voice is already a little bit down. So let me open it, and I will show you what's inside. So we have a cluster of suitcases. We have some flowers, and with the flowers, you can see suitcases doesn't have white, white outline, but the flower does. You may wonder why because it's very hard to fussy cut those flowers uh, close to the lines because of all, all of those branches, tiny leaves, we would just lose these elements. We will have to cut it out like this. So only solid flowers would fit into the cutting out. That's why with flowers and very, very intricate designs, we use the white outlines. But uh, I will show you what is more here. So we have suitcases, globe, we have a vintage uh, train, uh, we have more flowers, singular globe, and with the globe, see how it's fussy cut it. There is even this white element from this cut it out. We have some smaller elements like compasses in different sizes, and we have the stamp, like, I don't know, I will call them the truffle stamps um we have some buttons vintage buttons like this one more stamps we have a camera we have a plane more luggage um i would call them maybe maps or like vintage documents more flower clusters i will put them separately uh suitcase vintage car uh, some vintage letters travel journal more compasses uh, and this one has a different colors we have word map luggage hat more buttons more uh, compasses more luggage and even more compasses even more <laughs> i really like those i know it seems a lot but when you need some smaller elements to fill up the composition those are so handy because they can go with every page so when you travel you can you always kind of go in some of direction sort of so globe or uh, this kind of element is just perfect to fill up the smaller spaces even more travel stamps kind of a postcard as you can see some elements are repeated twice because usually they are a little bit smaller or bigger we have a world map another uh, true now another so in this case you have two of those because one is bigger and one is smaller and they are flipped like a left and right side 
um, we have a stamp vintage radio another bouquet of flowers another plane but again this is smaller and it's facing other side and it's bigger it's facing different side more cameras more vintage map so this is all you will get in this die cut pack and again as i mentioned flower clusters usually have the white outlines because it would be technically very hard to fussy cut them close to the edges but with this kind of design it's easy to trace it around and just cut it out because it has not a lot of uh picking out elements so this is all you get in the die cutting pack and i will put it well i would say a side but it's not a side i will uh put it back uh, here later because i wanted to show you uh, the last uh, last uh, product you will find in each collection and those are paper elements we have 27 of them we have envelopes we have tags and tickets so i will show you all of them so here are the circles and one thing i wanted to point out that the back is also printed so it's not the white in the back for most of the elements it doesn't matter but for envelopes it does because the white the inside of the envelope isn't white so we have a bigger circles uh, with this um, scalloped edge and we have like a beige frames and we have a, I don't know how to call it dirty turquoise color and we have some tags and they do not have the hole so you will need to cut out the hole we have circles without the scalloped edges and we have some bigger and smaller ones we have bigger and smaller tags Mm, another circle circle another tag i will sh i should have to hide it because i don't have enough space on my desk to show you all of it and i'm looking if it's it yeah so this is it there's our envelopes here and i will show you them in a minute and we also have six tickets some of them uh, have to be used in the particular di direction like this one with the train and some of them like this or this can be rotated and again everything has the printed pattern on the back and we also have envelopes and this envelope has the printed inside it's not pre-scored but it has those line printed i don't know if you can see this line so you need to score it here you need to score it here fold it on the sides fold it from top and back and you will get like a almost a square uh, envelope so this is the first one we have um, a slightly bigger uh, envelope with both sides being exactly the same so those are the scoring lines you need to fold it and it will be not a square but also like more squarish rectangle we have this envelope and this is a really fun one because it has this flap with this sort of finish like this and there is a spot when you can make a hole here and here and tie it up with a string we have another envelope and this one will be a bigger one and it will be like a rectangular one if you fold it and this is i think exactly exactly the same in size and shape but different pattern and the last one this one is also exactly the same but different pattern so we have those post uh, stamps here and the pattern inside and i will not i will not show you <laughs> how the finished envelope looks like but it's really really simple you just fold it on the sides add some glue here and here put it 
or maybe you can add glue here and here glue it to those sides and you can close it uh, later so this is all you will find in paper elements as you can see there is plenty uh, of stuff so we have die cuts we have uh, paper elements we have two paper pads six um, uh, double-sided papers and extra paper number one so this is it this is all that goes into traveler collection and i will be back with other videos uh, for different collection from january 2024 release thank you so much for staying with me and see you soon bye